subscribe. Hey, what up, YouTube? Um, <clears throat> so I'm kind of late, man. I haven't made videos the whole week, but it's for, it's for a reason. Like I said, I'm a really busy guy. But today's Saturday, day seven. My week ends today. My life ends today. If you know what I mean. Um, and my new cycle begins tomorrow. So I'm starting tomorrow is day one, going on to day seven. And like I said, guys, unless you, it's your first time watching this video, my whole life is broken up into cycles of seven days. You know, I do everything for seven days. I don't set super mega long-term goals that eventually you, you know, run out of motivation and you can't follow. I feel like if you set small goals, like seven day goals, you have enough fuel on the tank to, you know, keep up. So, like I said, you know, when the week starts, I just write my schedule for the week and um, the goals I'm trying to set, how many calories I'm trying to eat, even though I don't really count calories, but, like, you know, I try to make sure I eat six meals a day every day, things like that. But anyway, um, quick update on this week. Even though I'm late, I figured I had to make a quick video because I've been, you know, my, my channel's been kind of dry lately. I know you guys are checking online and you're like, man, this guy's not making any videos, but you gotta understand, I'm really, really, really busy. Uh, right now I'm going to my first job. Luckily, I don't have my second job today, so I'm gonna go to my first job, uh, work about six, seven hours. Then on the way back, I'm gonna stop at the gym. Stop at the gym. I already got my gear on. Um, this job, the tutoring job that I'm going to, I don't have to have a uniform, so I could just go there, you know, go there with my my gym gear, and then after that, head to the gym. Then I'm gonna come home. And like I said, I already, I already got my meals. This, oh, by the way, in case you haven't seen it. I work at Kroger. And this is what I walk around with every fucking day looking like an idiot. But, but really, what does an idiot look like? You really don't know, right? But yeah, it, it's, it's kind of weird, you know, when you start off, but after a while you get used to it. People see you walking in with this bag of food every single day. They're like, man, this guy is greedy as fuck. But hey, man, during the summer, I'm going to have this body that you ain't going to have, so fuck you. And uh, yeah, and I got my meals in there. Of course, I got my, my fruits, my bananas. I got one apple. Now, even though fruits have a lot of sugar, like I said, I'm bulking, and not just that, um, I'm gonna go to the gym today, so it's not a problem. And then, secondly, I'd rather have fruits, just in case they have like a sweet tooth, so I'm not gonna, you know, buy a candy bar or some shit. Cause like y'all know, I'm gonna end them off, and I put on fat so quick. If I eat three chocolate balls, just three chocolate balls, the next two days, I have like, my nipples start getting fat and shit, so. And then the meals, I got up real quick, I made some eggs, some rice, you know, so I'm gonna eat eggs for my first meal. Uh, a potato split in half into two meals. And I have some chicken, some rotisserie chicken that I bought at Korea for because I didn't have time to cook. And if you don't have time to cook, you know, it doesn't hurt to, you know, buy a rotisserie chicken. You know, don't use that as an excuse. But yeah, that's my meals for the day. You know, I'm gonna take breaks every two hours, you know, going outside in the car, grub. Things like that. What else? Also, guys, this is a quick shout out to my homeboy, Sylvester Rasuk. Check him out in the, in, the, in the description at the bottom. It's a long story. I have to make another video to show y'all, to explain to y'all, you know, where, how we met and things like that. But this is one of my closest homeboys, if not my brother from another mother. I'm telling you guys, we go, we go back to when I was 16, you know. In fact, when I started lifting, you know, you know, uh, around 16, 17, and we, you know, I didn't know shit about bodybuilding. I just wanted to go in the gym and lift weights. That's one of the guys I used to go to the gym with. And I found some pictures of me and him when we, when we used to work out. I tried to post that in the week. But yeah, that's my boy. Right now, he's pursuing his career as an actor. He's doing it big. He has a bunch of movies. Some movies he doesn't really like to talk about. I don't know why, because, you know, he's really, he's like an overachiever. So if, if a movie is not big in his eyes, he's like, man, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. In fact... I saw, I looked them up online and I saw a whole bunch of movies one time that he had made and he didn't tell me about it. I was like, dude, why didn't you tell me about that? He goes, oh, I don't worry about it, it doesn't count. I'm like, your bitch ass, man. You on TV, that counts, man. And if I had a chance to be on TV, man, that'd be, that'd be a great honor. But anyway, check him out. You can go to imdb.com. Yeah, that's the website you go to to see official actors and shit. Because he's an official actor. He did toe to toe. He was in a scene of um, my idiot brother, whatever. And, um,. He has a new movie coming out this year, and then he has like a, he did Raising Victor Vargas. But anyway, check him out, Sylvester Rasuk. Uh, I'm gonna put some links in the description if I have time. Check him out, you know, um, he's a cool guy, you know. And me and him, now a lot of you guys tell me, oh man, you so wise, you so, I'm not wise, you know. When you have a conversation with Sylvester, you'll know what wisdom is. It's like we keep charging each other, you know. If I feel empty and depressed or whatever, and I call this guy, his wisdom comes out, my wisdom comes out, and it's like, man, like, you gotta have a relationship like that, guys, where you have somebody you could talk to about your problems and he understands because he's been there. 
you know, you like, you know, and then some days you could goof around, talk about like, you know, girls and shit like that. But some days we just focus and talk about deep things. But yeah, Sylvester was sick. If you're watching this video, fuck you, man. I'm just playing. And uh, yeah, that's the update of my life right now. Like I said, day seven, the week is officially over. Uh, I've been doing a lot of research. Even though I've been in school and, and my two jobs and, and shit like that, I didn't give up on you guys. I've been doing a lot of research on bodybuilding. Like I said, this is like 80% of my life now. So I've been reading a lot of stuff. I've been filtering magazines because, you know, you can't believe everything you read in a magazine. I've been looking for common threads, you know, using scientific approach and things, all kinds of things. Bro science, mix it, throw it all in the pot. And I came up with a lot of conclusions. So, in fact, I designed a new routine. I'm gonna talk about it in, in the in the in the second video. I have a new workout routine where I'm actually training. Actually, I won't tell you guys. I wait till I see the results, and then I'll tell you because this new routine I came up with goes against a lot of the principles that we see in magazines and in you know um, daily articles. So I wait to see how my body responds. And if my body responds positively, then fuck magazines, fuck science. I'll let you know how it's working, and maybe you could try it out. But all right, this is um day seven. Team 3D, appreciate the support guys, subscribe.